When you create the Git repo, there are several very important files there that absolutely have to exist, right? And uh, there is an important way in which you need to put one of the files into the very first commit. So this is the Git repo, right? The Git file is where Git stores uh, its database. So you know you don't need to use it, and you should exclude it, of course, from uh, any searches and so forth of your uh, uh, development environment. The source folder is where the source is, and then there are four files here, right? Git attributes, Git ignore license and readme. And normally everybody starts from git ignore, but actually it's git attributes is the most important file. In this file, uh, I will open it. Uh, all it does for me right now, it says that uh, it's automatic detection of text. Okay, so essentially what it's saying is that it relies on git to automatically detect if the file is a text file. Because text files in version control, they're different, right? So first of all, if you check them out on your, for example, Windows development environment, you have to use a Windows line end, uh, if you check them out uh, on your Linux machine or for the cloud, uh, which is Linux based, um, uh, then you know you need to do, have different line ends. Also, uh, when you're merging, it will expect that uh, there will be diffs that it will analyze and merge for text files, but not for binary files. And what happens is that if you don't have Git attributes, it may incorrectly assume that some files are binary when they're not. For example, if your text file has some uh, unprintable uh, character, like for example, if you have non-UTF encoding, right? Sometimes complex encodings, foreign languages, uh, namely languages other than English, um, uh, cause the file to be uh, seen as uh, binary. Uh, or vice versa, you have uh, the file that uh, appears to be text, but actually it should not be subject to merge. So, so one way is to put in Git attributes, uh, and you can look it up very easily um, uh, in the reference. Uh, you can put specific file types that it should treat as text or as binary. I just put auto and it's a heuristic detection. Okay, so that file should be in the first commit, right? And when you create a repo, you need to amend the first commit in order to put this file there. Because if that does not done, for example, if there are two repositories, uh, and you're merging them together to create a merged repository. That's called the orphan branch merge. If one of them has one Git attributes and another one has a different Git attributes, uh, Git will take uh, you know basically 10 minutes instead of a few seconds to merge every time you're doing a commit because it'll be checking the line ends, and that's uh, you know very undesirable. All right, so uh, Git attributes uh, is the file that um, uh, you know again it's very simple, but it's very important, right? So now second file is Git ignore, right? So that file prevents you from accidentally committing the files that you uh, don't want things like generated files, temporary files, and so forth. And also from seeing these files when uh, you're trying to make sure that uh, you're current and you're updated. Uh, so, you know, Git ignore is uh, where you specify that. You should always put the license uh, in the root, you know, and this is uh, Apache license, right? So people basically will look at the root and look at the license. You see Git here says Apache 2.0 license. So most of the tools will actually read this file and determine that uh, what kind of license is in there. All right, so the last file is uh, readme, right? So you see, um, you know, and this is the, the same for GitHub, for enterprise Git, uh, GitHub, which is, uh, you know, professional development environment, and also for Bitbucket, which is another uh, even more popular professional uh, Git server. There's GitHub, there's GitLab, there's Bitbucket, right? So all of them do two things. First of all, they show you license from this license file in here. And second is they show the readme file here. And if your readme is not a TXT file, or you know, if, it, if it's not a file with no extension or TXT extension, if you use MD extension, which means markdown, then you can actually format it. Uh, and uh, you know, this is a very short um, uh, sample file. Normally in a good uh, open source or commercial project, you'll have, a, you know, not a, sometimes for, you know, some packages of limited scope, you can put the entire documentation here. But at least should should be you know very very detailed summary with links to everything else, right? So these are the key things that you expect uh, in the Git repository.